Deptford Town Hall was built in 1843 and is now part of Goldsmiths University. In its shells, anchors and fish symbolises Deptford's maritime history. Great ships would be built in Deptford Dockyard, but in the stones of this building lies another history. Around the sides of the building are four statues that survey the streets below. Sir Francis Drake, Robert Blake, Nelson, and a British Admiral. Francis Drake is most famously known for his epic voyages. He was the first Englishman to travel around the globe. A lesser known history is his role in kidnapping people from Africa, forcing them to work as slaves. He made one of the first journeys to kidnap people with John Hawkins, who lived at Deptford Dockyard. Admiral Nelson also sits atop Nelson's column in Trafalgar Square. Looking up at him is a black slave, possibly one of those promised freedom by Nelson if they risked their lives for the British military. Robert Blake was another admiral. He is celebrated for establishing British naval dominance, defeating Dutch ships in 1652. Naval dominance meant an ability to rob Spanish ships, themselves stealing from African people in the Canary Islands. Atop Deptford Town Hall stands a golden ship. It could be Francis Drake's slave ship or one of Robert Blake's looting ships. Italo Cavino said, the city does not tell its path, but contains it like the lines of a hand written in the corners of the streets, the gratings of the windows, every segment marked in turn with scratches, indentations, scrolls. Although this history is centuries past, its effects are still present. In 1981, black people died in a house fire in Deptford. There were suspicions that the fire was started by far-right groups in the area. One week later, 20,000 black people were marching on the streets of London, demanding justice. In a park in Newcross lies an unassuming quiet memorial to those who died in the fire. Unlike Deptford Town Hall, it is made of a rough stone and there are no statues to honour those who died. The work we need to do then is to overwrite the building with a new set of memories and meaning.